Is your live TV, movies, and TV shows constantly buffering on your Fire TV and Fire Stick devices? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that problem right now. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and on today's video I am going to show you how you can make your Fire Stick work to its full potential by changing a couple of things around and getting ideas of certain things you probably didn't know. So I am going to talk a little bit in the beginning before I start showing you stuff because I need you to understand the most common problem to your Fire Stick buffering while you're watching movies and shows and live TV, especially when you're streaming IPTV and when you live TV service you get buffering on the channels. A lot of it has to do with your internet connection. This is crucial. So let me explain how this works before I show you um, how you can check your connection on your Fire Stick or Fire TV device. A lot of you may have a smart router system. Um, this is like companies like AT&T where they have uh, the router and the modem combined into one unit and they have a smart router system. Now Spectrum has switched over to also a smart router system even though they have a modem and a router separately. Now their routers are smart routers and this is what they mean by smart routers. And for those of you that are techie out there, I am not going to start talking, you know, Wi-Fi and internet lingo because I really want my audience to understand what I'm saying here. So I'm going to simplify it for everybody. A smart router, what it does is switches over from a 5G connection to a 2.4 connection if there's an interruption in either or. Let's say your Fire Stick is hooked up to the 5G and there's an internet interruption on your 5G, it will switch over to the 2.4 because the way that this router thinks is it's better for you to have slow internet, which is a 2.4 is slower. It's better for you to have slow internet than don't no internet at all because there was an interruption with the 5G. And this really causes an issue when it comes to these devices, the Fire Sticks, Fire Cubes, and anything that has to do with Fire TV. Because, for one, even though you got an internet connection, if your movies are buffering, if your shows are buffering, if your live TV is buffering, then you know it's frustrating. And what's the point? I don't care for a connection if everything's gonna be buffering. I want to keep it on the 5G. That's the connection that always should be the only connection that you hook up a, a Fire Stick to. Okay? Some of you don't have a choice because of this smart router system. Okay? But I'm going to show you how you can get it back to the 5G if, if it jumps over to the 2.4 because of interruptions. Now you may ask me, hey Dan, well if it jumps down to a 2.4, wouldn't it just go back to the 5G when the connection fixes itself and the answer is no not on these fire devices most of the time if it goes from 5g to 2.4 it stays on 2.4 and you have no idea why you're buffering and you're frustrated and you can't explain it let me show you how you can check where your connection is you're going to hit the home button and you're going to go to the right to settings okay that gear right there and then what you're going to do is you're going to go down and you're going to go to network and you're going to click on network. The very first network, like it says here, Jarvis 3.0 for me, that's the connection that you're currently connected on. I personally have a mesh system, so I have the Iron Man 5G. If I were to see all networks, uh, I'll have Ultron 2G, Iron Man 2G. So I have different channels for my networks because what I have is a dual band system. Because what I like to do is I like to set up the Fire Stick on the 5G channel and no matter what interruption happens, it will always remain on the 5G. It's, mine is considered a smart router too, but I do have the option to change the channels, to have a 5G channel and to have a 2.4 channel. Now, the smart routers that don't have that option, like with AT&T and everything, it's whatever they want to do. So, nonetheless, here we are. You want to check what connection it is because mine says Jarvis 3.0, but doesn't mean anything. You may have an AT&T connection like my neighbor here that says just this gibberish. It doesn't say anything. My other neighbor has Netgear 34. It doesn't say anything. Um, this neighbor has Little Mama 2.4. She put 2.4 on there and so on and so on. So how do you check where what connection you're on? Once you're over your Wi-Fi connection, you're going to hit the play pause button. It says it right here on the right. To check the network status, hit the play pause button. So go ahead and tap that one time, and it's going to take you to this screen here. And as you can see, it says connection status of Jarvis 3.0, and underneath it tells you the frequency that that connection has. 
and this frequency currently has 5 gigahertz and that's what you need to see right there you need to make sure that it says 5 GHz if it says 2.4 GHz it's a major cause of your problems when it comes to buffering on your fire stick now you don't have a smart um, you you don't have a dual band or a separate channel for the 2.4 and then the 5G everything's combined into one and it switches back and forth you just notice right now that it's on the 2.4 and you ask yourself well Dan how do I get it back to the 5G this is what you're going to do you're first going to go to your modem okay now if, if you have a modem that has a modem and router combining to one unit all you're gonna do is look at the lights before you unplug it because we're going to unplug it for a moment look at the lights see all the lights and what colors they are and which ones are blinking which ones are not I recommend maybe take a small three four second video okay or take a picture of it and then once you have it you're gonna go ahead and unplug it okay you're gonna pull the cord on the back it's usually all the way at the bottom It's a black cord you can unplug it from there or go to the outlet and unplug it you're gonna wait about three to five seconds and you're gonna plug it back in and then that's going to take about a minute, two minutes, three minutes, depending on your internet company, to completely boot up and start throwing a new fresh signal throughout your house, okay? And the reason you took a small video or a picture of the lights is because you're going to know that it's ready to go when those lights match the picture that you took, okay? So you have the same lights, same colors, same blinking lights. Once it gets to that point, then it's 100%. At that point, you're going to come back to the fire stick and you're going to restart it okay now before I tell you how to restart your fire stick here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you what you need to do if you have a modem and a router separately it's still the same thing that applied for the modem that I just mentioned you're gonna look at it take a picture of the lights if you want to or try to remember what they are you're gonna unplug the modem and then immediately you're going to unplug the router after a few seconds you're gonna plug in the modem and you're gonna wait you're not going to plug in the router you're gonna leave the router let it sit you're gonna wait for that modem to completely boot up okay and completely give you the same lights that you remembered that they were before you unplugged it once she's completely boot up then you're gonna go ahead and go to your router and you're gonna plug in your router for those of you that don't know what the modem and the router do the modem is what feeds it's the it's the it's the box that receives the signal from your internet company and it brings it into that modem into the box the box takes that signal and takes it over to your router so your router can spread that Wi-Fi connection throughout your house okay so the modem receives the signal and then the modem throws that signal over to your router the router spreads it throughout your house okay for those of you that don't know which one is which once you find out which one's your modem and your router remember unplug the modem unplug the router plug in the modem let it boot up hundred percent and then plug in the router you're gonna wait a minute or two for the router to boot up 100%. Once we know both items are good to go, you're gonna come back to your fire stick and this is what you're going to do. You're gonna hit the home button. You're gonna to go to the right to settings again. This time you're gonna work your way down to where it says My Fire TV right here. Click on that and you're gonna go down and you're gonna click on restart. Stay clear of reset to factory settings. Do not click on this guys because you'll reset your whole fire stick so make sure it's only restart you're gonna click on restart and then you're gonna go to the left and you're gonna click on restart again and what that's going to do is gonna shut off your fire stick and it's gonna turn it back on I did not do it on mine because I don't need to but that's what's gonna reboot the fire stick and what the fire stick is going to do is gonna pick up that new fresh connection that that you just reset on your modem and router is gonna pick that up and the number one um, connection that the fire stick is always going to go to is going to be the 5g connection so at that point once you see the home screen like you see it now you can check to make sure that it did connect to the 5g by going to the the settings right here the uh, gear I'm sorry and then going down and going to the right to network again the first connection is what you're connected to hitting the play pause button and then seeing if it says 5g HC right there on the top if it does if it says 2.4 that did not work and that is the only way to reset your fire stick back to the 5g now if no matter how many times you've done that it keeps coming back to the two point short make sure that you don't have a second channel that is specifically for the 2.4 because some of you may have a second channel um, and, and that's the way to go if you do have that so how do you know 
you go back and you start looking you click on see all networks and I'm gonna show you a uh, an example now I personally named this but like I have Iron Man 5G that channel is specifically for 5G no matter what it will never change from 5G but I also have an Iron Man 2G so some of you may have two channels like this 5G and 2G you need to check I'm gonna see if one of my neighbors has something similar that I can show you like right here oh it went back up uh, my spectrum Wi-Fi 43 says 2G okay this came straight like that so that means that this particular neighbor of mine has a my spectrum Wi-Fi 34 5G somewhere on this list so if I keep going down maybe I'll find it maybe I won't yeah there it is my spectrum Wi-Fi 43 5G he has two channels and on his house he needs to make sure that he hooks up all his fire sticks we scan all his fire stick to the one that says 5g in order for the fire stick to always stay on the 5g and then this part right here you won't have to do um yes it i do recommend you resetting your your modem and your router occasionally to make sure you always have a fresh connection because it doesn't only help your fire stick it helps every device in your home but at least you don't have to worry about coming in here and checking if you're connected to the 5g because it's already set on that channel i hope that made sense to you guys um, I don't mean to drag this along, but it's very crucial that you guys know that part because it's the most common issue on causing problems with buffering on your fire stick. Now, here's a couple more things that we can do. We want to make sure that we clean up the fire stick, okay? Um, I'm going to show you how to clean up your app. So you're going to go to settings, going to go down, and you're going to go to applications, click on applications, and then you're going to work your way down to manage and install applications, and you're going to click uh, manage and install applications. Here's going to show you all the applications here. And here's what I want you to focus on. Focus on where it says cache. So when you're over an application, you see on the right hand side it says cache right there on, where I'm circling. Okay. If it says if it says any number other than zero, I need you to go into a four stop and clear cache. And I'll show you. I'm going to go down the list and see which one. Like this one right here, Amazon Live Shopping. I'm going to click on that one. You're going to click on four stop one time. That's going to close the app in the background, and then you're going to clear the cache, and it's going to bring it to zero. Then you're going to hit the back button one time, and it brings you back to the applications, and you're going to keep going down the list. And anything that has any type of cache, that's where you're going to go into, like App Store right here. I'm going to click on it, four stop, and go to the bottom, clear cache. Do not click clear data on anything, because it's going to clear out your credentials information that's in the app don't clear data you do not need to do that just four stop and clear cache hit the back button and then you're going to keep going down the line until you find more applications that may have cache as you can see i recently cleaned this fire tv player uh four stop clear cache and you hit the back button keep going down the list anything that you come across that has cache four stop clear cache back button four stop clear cash back button so I'm, I'm doing mine right now with you guys so you guys can get the concept of how it works and you're gonna do this to every single application that has cash every single one four stop clear cash just keep going down the line and YouTube I cleaned up recently okay so we got we figured out the internet part we clean out all the cash uh, on the fire stick you need to make sure that your fire stick is fully up to date and what I'm seeing more and more is that there's a lot of fire sticks out there that instead of doing that self update in the background they're not doing them so it's your job to make sure that your fire sticks up to date and this is what you do you're going to go to settings and this is the last thing guys you're gonna go down to my fire TV and you're gonna click on about when you click on about you're gonna work your way down and you're going to click on check for updates and it's going to start checking for the updates and as you can see i'm doing this live with you guys right now there's already an update that this one needs that it hasn't been done in a while so this is going to download as you can see on the right hand side there and then it's going to tell you click here to install the update that it just downloaded and you're going to click on it and it's going to go ahead and install it but here's the thing guys if you haven't done this in a long time you're gonna probably have three, four, five, maybe six updates to do. God knows how long. Maybe you have a, a few if, if it actually did in the background. Let me go ahead and click on install update so you guys can see what it does. Um, so 
it's important that after it's done doing the update that you give it a minute for this update to actually install and then you're going to go back and you're going to click on check for updates and you're going to repeat that process until you see where it says on the right hand side your fire stick is up to date or your fire tv device is up to date you need to keep repeating this part until it does that because that also can cause you buffering issues if you're if you're way behind on your updates when it comes to your fire stick so those are the three things i'm not going to wait for this to finish uh, it might take a while so you guys get the idea check your wi-fi make sure your fire stick's always on the 5g reset your modem and router okay so you guys can see here i'm going to go ahead and click on check for updates again and you see right here it says your fire tv is up to date that's what we're looking for on your fire stick so again make sure that you're you're always connected to the 5g now you know how to reset your modem and router so do that talk to your cable provider to see if they can't split the channel if you do have a smart router system going on with them um, and if not my recommendation is to get your hands on your own router i am going to actually uh, put a router from amazon on the description uh, i don't have an affiliate account or anything so this is just a link that I'm gonna put on there for you guys to go ahead and um, and click on and see if you like that router it's one that I recommend and that my parents actually have and it's a great router for the price it's a mesh system so it's overkill if you have a house less than 2,000 square feet but it's it's not bad to have you know you want to be all the way in the backyard and still get good Wi-Fi I recommend this mesh system it costs about hundred and thirty bucks at Amazon you might get it on sale by the time you click on the link but that's what you want to see so I hope that this helped you guys uh, I know I'm a talker guys I, I didn't mean to stay this long in this video but it's crucial that you guys know what you need to know about keeping the fire stick maintained and you want to follow these steps you know maybe every few weeks or anytime that you start seeing buffering issues, you need to jump to your router first, make sure your Fire Stick on the 5G, clean up your applications, and make sure your Fire Stick is completely up to date. You take care of all these three things, and your Fire Stick is gonna work to its full potential, and you're gonna see a lot less of the buffering issues. If I miss anything, or this didn't work for you guys, or any questions or anything, do not hesitate to leave it on the comments below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. I hope that you have found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell notification so you get notified every single time that I post a new video. Your support is greatly appreciated. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Firestick Man, your source for entertainment. And until the next video, happy streaming.